All right, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna start here with this side quest to you of days long past, which will afford us with a very unique piece of equipment. Uh, so, Aldo and Fane are spending some precious family time together in the mayor's house, but then a suspicious sound reaches their ears. How suspicious. Ah, uh, this is nice. Nothing beats relaxing at home. Oh, look at you. You just like being lazy, that's all. Let him be, Fane. Better to be lazy at home than on a battlefield. Ho, ho, ho. Heh, <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> huh? Something wrong? Didn't you hear that strange noise? I guess I did hear something coming from upstairs. Yes, no one should be there right now. Aldo, do you mind going to check? It's rather worrying. Sure, no problem. Aha, there you are. I knew you'd come if I waited here. Who are you? <clears throat> What's going on, Aldo? Oh, we have a guest. When did you get in here? Come on, Fane. Guests don't sneak into people's houses. And now that Fane is here too, the stage is set. Baru is acting really obnoxious. Or anxious. <laughs> what do you want from us? Why did you come here? Haha. <laughs> I've come for your precious Baruo. You've come for our cat? That's right. It's the only way to prevent a terrible event happening in the future. You're coming with me, Baruo. Yo. I'm out of breath. You're quick, I give you that. Was all that prancing around just to tire me out? This isn't going well. If what it says in the book is correct, this is my only chance to capture Baruo. Hold on, what exactly did Baruo do? I can't imagine him being guilty of anything. I don't know what book you're talking about, but what did Verua do for you to get your pants on a twist like this? I told you, if I don't capture him now, something terrible will happen. Like what? You're being really vague. Rats, I'm running out of time. But taking on both of you at once may be too much even for me. Ha! Tricked you! Yeah, you can't just catch a cat. Ugh, it's no use after all. That's enough. You're making a mess of our home. And Baru is upset too. Stop it already. Ugh, fine. I'll try another approach. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh no. Even if I prevent the disaster, it's all pointless as long as I don't stop Langelo. Langelo? We'll go with Langelo. I can't waste any more time here. I've got to go and find Langelo as soon as possible. What's all that about? Who was that boy? Do you have any ideas, Fane? Beats me. But he mentioned Langelo. Did he mean Langelo the Calico Cat? That's the one who had a scuffle with Vru over his female feline friend? Her name was Coco. Oh yeah, I remember now. Aldo, that boy is after Langelo now. We've got to do something. Let's find Langelo first. Yeah. Langelo usually hangs out behind the tavern, right? Yep, let's go there. Alright. We're hunting cats. Dude, that thing being in our bedroom is creepy. Not gonna lie. I wonder what that blue quest marker is. There he is. Whew, he's alright. That was not my voice for it. 
Aw, he's with Coco. Hello, you two. Get him, Veruo. Why so sulky, Veruo? Be nice to your kitty friend. She came to say hello to you. Don't give her this attitude. He's feeling shy and trying to hide it. Can't act normal in front of the girl he likes. <laughs> So fun. It just reminds me of starting the game. Those two would make a good couple, though, don't you think? Are you okay with this, for real? Langelo's going to steal Coco for himself at this rate. I mean, they were hanging out before we showed up, so. Cut it out. Hey! I'm not going to let you wheedle Coco into hanging out with the likes of you, you mangy mongrel. You two are as different as night and day. Keep your paws off of her. Ow. This is harder than I thought. I can't find an opening. Ow. Aw, what a cutie. Coco is so adorable. She's the loveliest kitty in this village. No, in the entire world. Oh, too cute. What is going on here? Don't tell me this kid is a cat as well. I play with you, Coco, but I have something very important to do first. I'll give you plenty of chin rubs next time, okay? What's that book you've been carrying around all this time? Are you messing with Peru and Langelo because of something that's written in there? Told you, I don't have time. We can talk about it later. No, you better explain what you're doing or we're not letting you off the hook. Can't risk you trying to do something nasty to Veruo again. Oh man, you don't trust me one bit, huh? Fine, I'll tell you, if that's the only way to get you off my back. The book belongs to my grandpa, but it's not just a storybook, it's a written prophecy. It tells you how to prevent all sorts of horrible things from happening to the world. Sure it does. Seriously? Yeah, so what I'm trying to do here is follow the advice in the book and stop these bad things from happening. It's super important stuff, so don't get in my way, okay? My bad. What do I need to do next? Ah, it says here that Marilyn will appear in the Nuaru Uplands soon. Oh no. That's no good. I've gotta go. Later, Coco. Like, what was this whole deal with the cats? Now he's off to the new Aru Uplands, huh? Is Marilyn another cat, maybe? No idea. Can't remember if I've heard that name or not. I'm sorry, are we supposed to know all the cats around here? Look, Baru's try Varuo's trying to tell us something. He seems to recognize the name. Maybe this Marilyn is his friend. He seems really concerned. We better do something. Let's go to New Aro Uplands and see what that boy's up to this time. Is New Aru... Like, I always forget. Is it the one... Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Da, da, da. Man, there's a lot of character quests that start in freaking Baruki. Such a small village. It is hopping. Alright, where are we headed here? Like all the way to the end. Going down. Good work, everyone. <clears throat> oh dang, level 2 goblins. 
this place just doubled in dangerousness. Or just danger, I guess. That's also a word. Hmm. Doesn't look like he's here. Where could that boy have gone? Wait a second. Where's Veruo? Huh? Come to think of it, I haven't seen him for a while. Like, we literally just saw him 30 seconds ago. Oh, there he is. He's got another lady friend? Is that why he wasn't interested in Coco anymore? That fickle tomcat. Don't follow his example, Aldo. I am so disappointed in Veruo right now. Um, of course I wouldn't. There he goes again. Always chasing a new lady. It's because if it's because you're like this that horrible things will happen. Get away from her. Shoo. You say get away from her or here? He said her. Okay. Veruo fled the Moonlight Forest. No, he didn't. Veruo was right there. The other cat fled. What if he gets attacked by a monster? Veruo was right here. I did it. I prevented a terrible future. Woohoo! Why were you so mean to Veruo? I wasn't mean. It had to be done. Veruo and Marilyn had to be separated for the sake of the future. It's all written here in this book. I simply took steps to make sure that the prophecy could not come true and everything ended well. You say all that, but you're just acting like a bully. And what terrible event did you mean, anyway? Um, well... Wow! What was that? It sounded like Marilyn. She may be hurt. Let's go and check on her. Okay. Whatever. What do I care? I did what I had to do. Oh man, I hope this team will survive a fight. <laughs> uh, this is not really a team that's built to fight right now. That... That's Marilyn. It was her crying before. The poor thing. We've got to help her. You're not going anywhere. Let us through. Just go past him, Aldo. Forget about it. If you helped her now, all my hard work would amount to nothing. <clears throat> this is getting ridiculous. Just what exactly is the event you're trying to prevent at all costs? You want to know it so bad, huh? It's Veru and Marilyn getting married. You've got to be kidding me. Why would that be a problem for anyone? You just don't get it. You have no idea how much unhappiness that would cause. And that's why you lured those monsters here? No, that was nothing to do with me. But in any case, I can't let you interfere. She had it coming. Stealing tasty nibbles, always munching on something. Lazing around all day, getting so heavy she couldn't chase a mouse if her life depended on it. She does only what she wants and doesn't care what I say. Then she comes to me wanting cuddles, and if she doesn't get them, that's when the claws come out. Hold on, are you by any chance Marilyn's owner? Owner? Ha! She'd scratch her eye out if she heard that. Both turns out not just the eye the eyes i mean she can be nice sometimes surprising me with a gift the gift is a dead mouse following me around coming with me on little adventures i hate to break it to you kid but your kitty's gonna die if we don't do anything don't you care what happens to her i'm not a monster i wouldn't let her die she's going to be fine there was nothing in the book about her dying so i'm sure she's going to be all right my dude.
Uh, on second thought, this is looking really bad. What should I do? Uh, there's a lot about her that really drives me nuts, but lots that I like about her, too. I guess I can't stand around and watch her being attacked by monsters. Listen, kid, I get that preventing some event or other matters a great deal to you. But think about the cost. Is it worth having poor Marilyn die just for that? It's... it's not like that. Ugh, I don't know anymore. Just do what you want. If you don't... that, I'll do. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is my Earth team. They are not... Oh, I've got... okay. This is my grinding team. So at least that means I've got... Uh... No, hold it. You switch you. And you switch out for him. You can... Is this all enemies? Heck yeah, it is. Okay. All right, that should do it for now. Okay, yep, we'll be all right. Pew pew! Oh, just one pew, I guess. Earth zone. Give me that earth zone. Uh, Mega Delone. Oh yeah, I really need to hit her ability board up. There we go, okay. <laughs> Yunfa. All safe now. What am I doing, though? I won't get another chance like this again. I blew it. Why are you so desperate to stop Veru and Marilyn getting together? Ugh, do you really need to know? Anyway, why'd you care so much? That marriage isn't going to happen. Huh? Veruo? That's another... Fane, stop turning cats into people! But I just saw him run off into the forest just a short... Just a short... But I saw him run into the forest just a short while ago, Aldo. I don't know what's going on, but be quiet. It's not safe here. There could be more monsters around. Let's head back to Baruki. And then you can explain everything. Yeah, sure, the cats are going to follow you back. Because that's what cats do. Alright, I want some answers. Having a prophecy book is one thing, but you can also transform into a cat. And not just any cat, but one that looks exactly like Veruo. What's the meaning of this? It's pretty simple. I'm Veruo from the future. What? I'm really a cat. Yeah, no, we saw. This is a lot to take in. But your eye color. Besides, Veruo can't shapeshift. How come you can do that? Uh, to be honest, I don't know that myself. All I remember is that I had this book... Sorry. I had this book and Gramps was chasing me. I managed to get away from him and look inside the book. It told you how to change the past, so here we are now. So you really are Veru from the future. But why would you return to the past to prevent your own marriage? Even in this form, I couldn't forget Coco. It made me so sad to see her with that scoundrel, Angelo. If only I hadn't married Marilyn. It's been my greatest regret all my life. But in the end, you wanted us to help her when she was in danger. You're saying you're so fed up with her, but when it comes down to it, you do care about her. Don't say I love her just because I didn't want her to die. Coco is the girl for me. I should have married her. Marilyn was a mistake. Man, this is getting too real. Freaking cat regretting marriages and stuff. Woo! Anyway, whatever. I achieved what I wanted. That marriage won't happen now and all will be well. I hope so, at least. Baru of the past won't get all lovey-dovey with her again, will he? 
That would undo all my hard work. I better keep an eye on him for a while. Whoa, Veruo. It's not right to meddle with history for selfish reasons. Converting a future you don't like because you learned from a book that is possible is an abuse of power. Oh, shut up. I know it's wrong, okay? But it's not such a big deal. Yo, did that book just explode? What's wrong? Where am I? What was I doing? My memory's been strangely hazy since I picked up this book. Why do I have this dreadful feeling that I've done something I really, really shouldn't have? Huh? What happened to the attitude from before? Oh, if it isn't Aldo and Fane! I missed you guys! Looks like Baru has recovered his senses. Yeah, it was as if is it, it was as if he was possessed by that book earlier. I was possessed? Um, you lost me. That had to be it. It was it's like you were in a trance. Now you're more like the Baruo we know. He sure is. The Baruo you know is a cat. But Baruo, you really should have known better than to steal that book. Promise to return it to its owner, okay? I didn't steal it. I was just borrowing it. Stop it with the excuses. Okay, okay, I'll give it back. Without reading any more. I'm going back to my timeline. Can't risk changing history too much by hanging out in the past. I probably won't see you again. Goodbye, Aldo. Fane. Goodbye, my old self. Just the cat can time travel by himself now. Although Aldo is also a cat who can time travel by himself. So. At least it ended well. Who would have thought Verua had his dark secrets, though? Two timing Coco and Marilyn. <laughs> Look at him acting all innocent. It's just, just so much drama, even the cats are getting involved now. Anyway, that was To You of Days Long Past. Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed it, check me out over twitch.tv slash corndog913. Otherwise, I will see you for the next episode. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.